Okay, so I just readjust my microphone. Okay guys, so this is something a little bit different for PTTP, but we're here at UKRI Science and Technology Facilities Council. Um, and then they've got the, that's a really unfortunate name, ISIS Neutron and Muon Source and the central laser facility. They've got diamond up there, research complex at Harwell, and uh, Rosalind Franklin Institute. So, there's a site here called the Diamond Light Source, which is basically a giant microscope. Um, I'm gonna take the drone up and show you from above because it is, it's too large, you can't photograph it in one thing. But I think, as far as I can uh, tell, that's part of it there. And it's, it's a massive circular structure. Almost looks like a um, large hadron collider that, you, that they have in Geneva. Looks a bit like that from the sky. But yeah, it's, it's powered by beams of powerful electrons, or powerful beams of electrons. Um, and it works as a giant microscope. They use it to analyse fossils, new viruses, and bacteria, and all sorts of stuff. It's, it's crazy stuff. I was watching a documentary by David Attenborough. His um, one about dinosaurs on Apple TV. And he came here and used the facility and it kind of intrigued the scientist in me, so I thought I'd come and have a look while I was nearby. Yeah, so it's placed on this huge, huge industrial estate. Um, so over that side you've got an electron building. Um, you've got Fails Alenia Space. I don't know um, how much of this is all owned by one company or if it's all managed by one person, uh, one company or one security firm or what the situation is really. Oh, uh, here we go. So this is the outside of the diamond light source. It's a massive circular tube. Looks like they've got work going on on it at the moment. There's lots of scaffolding up on the exterior. I don't know if there'll be anybody here today, to be honest, because um, it is a Sunday. So you can see they got signage there, private property keep out. Yeah, what an, uh, an amazing sight. got bus stops and that all along here. You can just imagine how much energy this takes to process to to run. Yeah it's a phenomenally large building. But 
Yeah, it's a Sunday afternoon here in uh, Oxfordshire. Like I said I don't know if anybody really is really about. I did uh, see one lady just before I started filming and just quickly asked her where this building was because I wanted to have a look and she pointed me down this direction. Um, Uh, yeah, so I think what I might do is head down to the security reception area, see if anybody's there, and I might actually be cheeky and ask if they're able to show me around inside. Um, you don't know unless you ask, really. But yeah, I'll pick it back up when I get back down to the reception. I'll see you there. Yeah, so here we are, I think this is the visitor reception. So I'm going to come and have a little look and see if anybody's here today. Let's come and have a look. Ah, they've actually got uh, speed cameras, apparently. Speed bumps and speed cameras. So that's the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory. So very cool. Um, yes, yeah, so I think this is all part of the Diamond Light buildings. I think it comes. Uh, I'll zoom back out around where we were there, excuse the stuff all over my hands, I had to fix my bike. Um, yeah, all that sort of stuff, it goes all the way around there. This is very cool. Closed. If there's no one here at the reception desk, please go to the security window. I don't know if there's anybody in here either. <laughs> Hello, mate, how are you doing? You alright? Yeah. Good, good, good. good. Um, I'm just making like a little video around the area about diamond light source and stuff. Just wondering if it's at all possible. Does anybody that can take me inside and show me around some areas? Um, not unless they've informed us that you're going, coming on to site and booked you in. No, I haven't been booked. That was it. I just turned up today. Oh, it's yeah. just in the area. No, I'm afraid they won't be allowed to, sir. No. No. Oh, that's a shame. Um, okay. How far back does the sorry um, actual microscope thing go? The big round building. Yeah. So. Okay, I've got a drone with me, so what I'll probably do then is I'll, I'll take the drone up over. Yeah, you um, need permission to fly the drone over here. Pardon? You need permission to fly the drone over here and inform, inform us. I have, I'm informing you now. No, no, it needs to be as an email. Why? 
security reasons. Uh, I appreciate what you're saying. Um, I've checked the airspace around here, which is controlled by the Civil Avi Aviation Authority and all of that. Right. There's no flight restrictions or anything in the area, so I'm here letting you know. Is that for aircraft or for drones? Pardon? Is that for aircraft or for drones? Either. There's, there's, there's no air restriction for either. Okay. Um, but yes, Is there I, any reason why you need to fly a drone over here? Well, because I, I said I'm here to make a little video about the area, so I wanted to. Okay. Um, you know, there's some really good aerial shots of the massive telescope sort of thing, isn't there? Um, you know, you can see a bit of it on Google, but you get more dynamic shots, you take the drone up and have a look around. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's, yeah, I'm letting you know now. Um, okay. but, uh, but yeah, just to let you know. Um, okay, yeah, you got your identification on it, sir, just in case there's any uh, queries? No, no, I'm, no, I don't have any identification on me. You've got no driving licence, no, no credit no. card, nothing? No, no. Okay, it's just that I want it for reference that you've been up here. So maybe our security manager can check. I'm, I'm, on, I'm all on the cameras. I'm not going to be hiding anywhere. I'm going to be out in plain sight somewhere on the road out there. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be <laughs> hiding or anything. You've got a very good description of me. I'm very, you yeah, know, big new helmet. You don't need a name, do you? Well, if I've got a name and there's anything that goes wrong, yeah. like your drone falls onto our site, I need somebody <laughs> to get in contact with. Uh, no, so the, the way that works with drones, if, if the drone falls onto your site, it's got a label on it that's got a, a unique number that links back to me. Um, so if the drone were to fall on your fight, uh, uh, fall on your site, you would call up the Civil, Civil Aviation Authority. Yeah, well, I can't just take your name now, rather than if that happens. Uh, I, I just don't really need to give my name, it's, it's not necessary, is it? Um, like I said, if anything goes wrong, that the drone has that well, identification it's not number. To give your name. Pardon? When you want to fly something over our site. Well, because it's, it's, there's no requirement to give a name for that. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm here letting you know out of courtesy. I could have just done it without telling you. Um, okay, but, yeah, that's but fine. Yeah, yeah. So, it being polite, so I'm just asking for a name, that's all. Yeah, that's what's wrong with giving a name? Well, because I, I don't want to. What's your name, your full name, your address? You know, you ask my driver's license, that's got all my details on it. You know, I mean, I'm not going to give you a, a random stranger my, my personal details. You know, I said, well, I, What do you expect me to do with the personal details? Well, I don't know, but... <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I'll do with the personal details. I'll just record them and they'll go into our electronic uh, register where only the security manager and the security staff can view it. Well, I, I, no offence, but I don't necessarily want the security manager or security staff viewing it. I, I don't know who you guys are. I don't okay. know you from Tom, Dick and Harry. If you want to use your drone, yeah. when you go up to the first roundabout yeah. and you turn to your right, yeah. that's a private road which you can't access. Okay. All right, so it's anything... Back from beyond that. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what's say that again? So I can't go up that road to the right, you said? Yeah. Okay, I won't go up there, that's fine. And if you decide to go round and then come up the rabbit run, yeah, yeah. which is off uh, the main road, that's also a private road because there's a sign that says private road, no access. Okay, that's why I won't go on, an, on any uh, private roads or anything, or like not, okay. anywhere that it says, you know, not publicly accessible. No, I said, I'm probably going to go stand, like, probably pretty much directly outside here, because okay. um, from there, like, once you've got the drone up, I don't need to be moving, because the, the drone does the moving, um, so it's not, let, you know, I don't need to be walking yeah, around you moving. Are happy for me to take a photograph, so we know? Oh, well, you're all on, like I said, I'm all on your CCTV all around, look, I'm not covering my face, you've got a camera up there, and... You know, okay. I mean, you're welcome to take a photograph, but I mean, okay, that's fine. Uh, you're welcome to, but I think I said I'm all on your cameras, I'm not hiding. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, so that's, yeah, but um. But thank you for letting us know. No worries. But yeah, it's a shame. If, if anybody does want to, uh, if there's a manager about and they're, they're not too busy and they've got a bit of time and they want to take me in aside and have a look around. Well, they won't book, book you in unless you've been. you got to book in in advance, have yeah, you? Yeah, you've got to have a host on site. Right, okay. Okay. So how how do you how do you get that done? Do you just go through the, the uh, on the website somewhere? You have to find somebody that's willing to. Yeah, yeah. So you can't just come up and ask you, that's what I mean, like you can go through the website to book that through, or...? I'm not quite sure. No? Oh, shame. I okay. don't know if you can do it through the uh, website or not. Okay. But normally, if you're coming onto site, you normally know somebody that's mm. on site. Okay, because I had a look on the website, and it did say that the site was generally quite open, and... Um, that's like the whole that. campus, not our, our site. Uh, well, the, the diamond sort, the diamond light source website, and that um, you know, it did say that they usually so have like our fence line. We, as a security and UKRI, dictate who comes onto site. Oh, um, I see. Okay, I understand now. That you have to be registered. Uh, okay, so you so you don't work for the diamond light; you work for UKRI, yeah. and that's what. Oh, right. I see. And they're all part of the same. Yeah, yeah. Firm. It's it's owned by the Wellbeing Group. Right. Okay. No worries. Alrighty then. Well, yeah, I'll be out there anyway. And okay. No yeah. worries. Cheers.
And there we go. So yeah, he says um, a couple of roads that are private, no public access. I'm like, okay, that's fine. But as I said, um, I'm not going to be going up there. I'm probably just going to go across the road down here and take the drone up from there. And uh, it's, a, it's a shame that you can't get access onto site. But like I said, if you don't ask, you don't get. So, what I'm going to do... Come over this side. Get a pretty good line of sight. I'll probably set up on the grass bit here, so I'm not on the, blocking anybody on the path. Um, so I think the diamond, the big building's over there. So I reckon from here, should be able to get up and over. Quite a good line of sight. Um, yeah, we'll have a look around there. Right, so I'm just going to get my uh, dash cam set up and recording. Yeah, I'll turn that on. And record. And then I just need to plug that in. So it hasn't got much battery left. Yeah, and no, then I literally just died straight away as soon as I turned it on. Uh, Insert card, cards in. There we go. So that's recording. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pause now uh, the phone and get the drone out. Okay, so about to take off with the drone. Take off. Yeah. Straight up. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So yeah, wow. Look at this. It's incredible. Solar panels on the right hand side there. It's incredible. So cool. That's where he was going. What's the
Oh uh, yeah. What's your client camera? Yeah. Find a little dot up there, right in front of you, yeah. on the clouds. Yeah. See it? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you got to have visual line of sight with it at all times. But also, yeah, you can see it all from the camera. That just shows you what the camera sees. Yeah, it's all right. We're a bit unsure about uh, whether the site uh, we've got any restrictions on, on the yeah. place, so we're just trying to find out from our people. Oh, right. I mean, as I said to your guy on the front desk, yeah. um, I, I checked the... As far as we know, like, the old man's desk seat, there's no restrictions on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
argue with that at all. Like I said, um, wasn't really here to do an audit, I just wanted to come and check out the site and that really. Um, and yeah, the security guard on the front desk was a little bit off, you know, but he didn't go full swing and say, you know, oh, I'm gonna call the police, you can't do this, you can't do that. He just, you know, I'd explain to him how it works with a drone and the um, operator's ID if it lands on their site and things like that. And he just accepted it in the end. So, yeah, very overall good visit here at Diamond Light Source. And um, I'm now heading down to my bike, I'm just parked down there. And I'm going to head on over to Thames Valley Police Headquarters actually. So, as always guys, I'm going to wrap it up, but stay safe, remember your rights, and Sarah. Oh dear. I've got to, no, I've got to say I'm very disappointed already. Up, Not in yourself, in them. Well, that, oh, well, well, I thought everything has been fine with them, and then it turned out they've called you. Oh, we just belong to the site next door anyway. Huh? We belong to the nuclear site next door. Oh, right. That's why. So oh, obviously... there's a nuclear site here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't so know that. Just, there you go. Also, you've got a campus here, and then you've got the old nuclear site just attached to it. Oh, there you go. So we belong there. So obviously, these guys have just said something about you in the area of potential with a drone or something like that. Yeah. Or yeah. looking at something. So yeah, they're going to diamond lights or something. Yeah. yeah, everyone gets a little bit panicky over stuff here so they just wanted us to come and have a word of you and see what it was about yeah really. but I mean look, I've, well, everything that I've told them that's what, can you just but, tell me exactly what it is just so I, so I mean no offensive but like I, I need to be on my way <laughs> like okay. I was just wrapping up like, you can find out from them were you taking uh, images or flying or anything I said I've told them exactly what I've done mate uh, I'm not here to cause any issues but I said oh, I, no, no, I, I'm here to be getting on my way um, can you just explain to me what you've told them no you can go find out from them like I said I need to be getting on my way like I've, I've just wrapped up here for a reason because I've got other places to be today what was the reason for your visit here just, again I've explained everything to them if they've called you and they've, and they've given you an account of what's happened they've just given me very brief details which was what that you were in the area potentially with a drone that was it Right, well, then you need to ask them because I've told them okay, everything. Right. I've been up front with them. And I, I just don't, I don't necessarily that, yeah. have time to stand there and keep repeating myself over and over. Okay, I appreciate you know. that, but I'm trying to be reasonable with you. I know, if and you I appreciate tell that. Me, that'd be absolutely fine. Literally, I'm just here to have a look at the Diamond Light Source, as I said. Was that your main reason for it, was <laughs> yeah. it? Okay. As I said to the security guards that came out the second time while I was flying, yeah. I said to them, I was like, I saw the Diamond Light Source thing on the new David Attenborough um, documentary on Apple TV. He came in here and you used it and looked at some fossils. Right. It was a very interesting documentary. I really love physics and so the way that it works with the powerful electron beams is mm. awesome. Yeah, yeah. So I wanted to come and have a look. It looks really good from the sky. Okay. Probably just advising something yeah. like that if you were planning on doing it maybe just contact them in advance um but i didn't know when i was going to be coming down i knew i was coming down at some point this weekend but i didn't know when just a spare of the moment type thing yeah it? pretty much okay i was right. passing by and i thought oh right i know it's near there so i'll swing by okay uh, fair yeah. enough uh, so you guys are based here at the nuclear side yeah we're yeah. from the civil nuclear constabulary civil nuclear constabulary yeah. okay can you call the numbers there because they're both obscured a little bit yeah, yeah. 2417 2417 2982 lovely thank you appreciate yeah, that for your name no, okay, thank you. No, okay, no problem. Then. Uh, but, yeah, but, um, yeah, it's crazy. I, I, was there. I was completely up front with them, went into the security front desk and said, like, is there any chance anybody can show me around inside? Mm -hmm. And they said no. And I was like, okay. And I said to them, I was like, well, in that case, I'm going to be outside, I'll be flying a drone around. So I'm giving you a heads up, basically. Um, yeah. And he was fine with that. Two security guards that came out after were completely fine with me. So I'm very, very surprised that they called the police. Okay, that's fair enough. But, yeah. It's just normally something like this would just have um, some like prior authorization and yeah, yeah. a bit of notice, and then they normally clear after nothing, and then they're fine with it that way. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't need to, though, does it? Because it's, um, you know, it's public places, air, air space isn't owned by them. And, there's more concern you know. about the traffic and the footfall around here as well, because it's normally quite a busy site. Oh so. well, yeah, but even then, like the drone is small enough that that doesn't apply Pretty anyway. Sure you're more cleared so, up than anyone yeah, else yeah. the drone laws of that. Yeah, exactly. I appreciate that. But, um, so, yeah, there's there's no need for me to come and like to okay. clear it with them first i want to let them know as a courtesy right you know okay. i didn't even have to do that i could have just said they were driving and taken it up and then that would have elicited more of a response That's from fine. them That's yeah. but you know i didn't do it that way 
So there's absolutely no. Need okay, for that's appreciated. All right. If that's the case, then we won't keep you any longer. Okay. If you say you've got places to be, then. Where's well, the boundary for the nuclear site? Uh, it is a fence line that runs There's around. There's a fence line around. You'll see it's got all the notices on it as well. Yeah, so I didn't know that. So I might go have a walk down and have a look around there. I didn't know that was there. That's absolutely fine. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. You'll see them. We've got the section 128 notices on there as well. Yeah, so obviously criminal boundary. trespass and everything, um, yeah, obviously. Just kind yeah. of basis as well. We, we know you're here anyway, yeah, so yeah. if you are going to be viewing that, then yeah, yeah. we appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is there, are there bylaws for nuclear sites and stuff? Um, uh, in terms of like flying, because I didn't know that there, so in terms of like flying a drone over that bit, are there um, bylaws that I can look up? They are, and especially the power sites as well, mm -hmm. um, that we have on ours. Uh, there are no drone zones over it, just for those it's sensitive. Not on, the, on, not on the maps, there's not. No, so you obviously know the area as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, I checked the, I checked yeah. the maps before obviously I came. The, but the other power sites that we look after, they have yeah, yeah. fly zones over them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Harbour specifically doesn't. Right, okay. Um, but obviously, just due to the nature of what it is as well, yeah, any yeah. drone activation will take that quite seriously and see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Normally, again, we have prior um, authorization and notice about anything that's going on as well. I'm just notifying you now. Yeah, exactly. But again, I'll check I'll check the drones. Uh, I'll check the I'll check this online to see if I can find anything about bylaws because mm -hmm. even if there's no even if there's not a no fly zone over it, there may be bylaws that, yeah, yeah, that yeah, specify yeah. no drones, and I'm not sure on nuclear sites. I've never been to one before in my mm -hmm. life, so <laughs> I will have to look that up. Yeah, but if there's not, yeah, I might. Um, take the drone over and get some more footage of that while I'm here. So there you go, there's notice for you. <laughs> um, cool. But yeah, all right. Right, I'll let you get on your way then. Cool. Yeah. All right, yeah. Cheers, then. So there we go. Did not know there was a nuclear site here. I genuinely didn't. Um, Not um, particularly happy with the fact that I thought it had gone so well here with the, the diamond light source as well. So yeah, it's, um, it really is a shame that they've gone and called the police and like that. But to give the police their dues, I am stood right next to my motorbike, which has got my number plate on the back, so. You could have quite easily run my plate there and um, caught up with me that way. Um, and I was also stood in front of my exhaust because my exhaust is actually broken. So I did purposely stand in front of that so they couldn't see it. Um, at least I hope they couldn't from where they were stood. But they didn't say anything about it. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually going yeah, to quickly Google the bylaws for nuclear sites and see what I can and can't do and I'll potentially pick it back up in a minute. If not, then as always, stay, stay, stay safe, remember your rights, and ta -da. Okay, so I couldn't see anything that specified that you can't fly drones over um, nuclear sites in general. But we do have the uh, police car down there, so they're just sat there watching and waiting for moi, or what they're doing, but yeah that's a, as she said, does say private road down that way, so we're not going to head down there. see anything down here saying private road. So I'm assuming this, uh, this is something to do with the nuclear site. But I can actually hear an aircraft. Can't see it, it's up above the cloud, I think. Above the cloud line. But yeah, I can actually hear um,
plane flying or a helicopter or something. I think it's a plane flying over. So, yeah, definitely not a restricted airspace. How very cool. So then we have the licensed nuclear site, which is over this side, which is all this fenced off area. So, yeah, I've got the 128 notices there. Um, this is a protected site under section 128 of the Serious Organised Crime and Police Act. Remember what year that is? But yeah, so all nuclear sites are protected under the same legislation that protects things like Buckingham Palace and uh, the Houses of Parliament, MI6, all those protected sites and things like that. Um, but yeah, so I don't think I am going to risk flying the drone over to be honest. But yeah, so you've got the um, bus stop in that here, so we've got the COVID signage. Um, so, yeah, I'm not entirely sure which bit's which, yeah. So there you go, you can see that plane up there, flying directly over the nuclear site. So, yeah, there can't be a flight restriction zone here, realistically. How very cool. So this is the Mary Lyon Centre at MRC Harbour. There you go. Just goes to show you what you should do a little bit more research before you come here. So like if um, the police hadn't told me that this nuclear site was here, I would have had absolutely no idea. Um, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't look much like a nuclear site. It doesn't look like a nuclear power station in regards of like what you see you know, on things like The Simpsons or whatever. But yeah, that's a 20 times zoom, that guys. That's pretty damn good. All the way down to the flag down there in the distance. And the shot was still clear. So, I'm not sure where the boundary starts, so they got a, oh that's noisy, they got a sign there that says private road, which is part of that road that links around there, so I don't know if I can go up that way, um, it, it's definitely not part of their site, um, because there would be signage saying that beyond this point is protected, but it doesn't, so, yeah, interesting. Uh, and that links. that road there which takes me back home but so yeah just gave the cops a thumbs up just to let them know I'm leaving I'm not gonna risk flying my drone over because you know a quick two minute google isn't enough time to research whether or not you can fly over like protected sites and things like that you know we would need more time to do um, that kind of activity so I'm just absolutely not going to risk it What I can 
definitely see happening now though is um, these coppers kind of waiting for me to make a move on the motorbike and then <laughs> following me and doing a traffic stop to get my ID and details and whatever else. Mm. There we go. Right, I'm definitely going to wrap this one up here now. But as always, <laughs> stay safe, remember your rights, and until the next one, guys, Sarah.